Dublin is the world's leading manufacturer of rotating unions, which are used in a broad range of manufacturing processes to cool, heat or transfer fluid power. Despite this wide variety, installing a rotating union correctly can be an easy process. The steps for installing a Dublin rotating union can be thought of as one, two, three. Step one, connect the supply hose to the union. Step two, connect the drain hose to the union. Note that the minimum inside diameter for the drain line is about a quarter inch or six millimeters. Check to see that any supplied drain plugs are tight enough to seal. Step three, connect the union to the machine. It's very important that you only do this after all hoses are connected to the union to avoid damage to the union's bearings. Make sure all mounting surfaces are clean with no chips, dints or debris that could cause runout and vibration. Make sure the thread direction matches the machine. Some Jubilin unions are available with either left hand or right hand threads. Tighten the rotor to the correct torque. Contact Norman G. Clark if you are unsure of the correct torque value. Due to gravity, drainage always flows down. For this reason, the drain line must always slope continually down at an angle of at least 15 degrees. In a horizontal installation, proper drainage requires the drain connection to be at a 6 o'clock position. The 6 o'clock position is essential even if no drain hose is used. In a vertical installation, the 6 o'clock position is irrelevant. But it is still essential that the drain line slopes downwards. If it flows upwards instead, the union's bearings can be flooded. Make sure that the union will not experience any side loads during operation. Excessive side loads can interfere with sealing and shorten bearing life. Such side loads can be caused by supply hoses with tight bends, hoses that are too tight, or hoses that are too short. Side loads are minimized when the supply hose has sufficient length and only slight bends. An elbow can relieve stress from tight bends in the supply hose. Mechanical restraints of any kind also create side loads on the union and are not recommended. Avoiding side loads from hoses or mechanical restraints will prolong the life of the union's bearings and seals. Let's look at the three main steps again. Step one, connect the supply hose to the union. Step two, connect the drain hose to the union. Step three, connect the union to the machine. Taken along with the other tips in this video, these three simple steps will ensure that your Jubilin rotating union functions properly, providing the superior performance and reliability that makes Jubilin an industry leader. Norman G. Clark have been stocking and distributing Jubilin unions throughout Australia since 1966. For more information, visit us online or contact a Norman G. Clark representative.